Hi, this video is for Monday, September 28th. Uh, I am going to get started with our daily packet, uh, which we kind of went away from last week, but I do want to go back to it. So I want to go here and I just went through and I just wrote down all of my spelling words. So I'm on unit two, week two, day one. So we're our um, pattern for this week is long E, long E. That says the alphabet E when you hear the words. So we have the words tree, funny, need, leaf, clean, queen, read, peace, happy, and heat. This one here is the question, what did you give the queen? And we will answer it in a complete sentence. So we'll start with the capital letter. So I'll start with I. I probably gave the queen, gave the queen with double E, one of the spelling words, queen. So I gave the queen. So it says a funny piece a art. So now I can kind of unjumble those words. I gave the queen maybe a funny. Another spelling word with just Y, funny, that Y makes the E sound. Funny piece of art. Oh, and we got our A here. Piece of art, period. Subtraction here, we have 15 minus two. So really I just have to do five, take away two is three. My one will stay the same because it's like one, take away zero there. So you have five, you take five away, you have zero. 10 take away two is eight. Seven take away two, five. And these ones just go sideways. We have 13 minus seven is six. And 17 take away three, you can think about it as seven minus three is four. And that one kind of just follows because it's kind of like this one here. Let me rewrite it sideways here, where you just subtract seven minus three is four, and this one is kind of like one minus zero is one, which gives you 14. The bottom piece is bar graphs. So bar graphs is what you'll be getting um, this week. So bar graphs, uh, mine got cut off a little, but at the bottom it says, these are the number, the numbers of laps run. So in May, there were four laps run, April 3, March 5, February 1, and January 4. The question is asking, which month was the greatest amount of laps run? So we're gonna look at our graph, our chart, and I'm going to go to the one that has the most, the longest bar, and that is the month of March, has the most laps run. How many more laps were run in March? So let's see, March had five, then February. February only had one. So I'm gonna go five, take away one, gives me four. There were four more laps in March than there were in February. And we can kind of see it here too, because here's March, here's February. So here's one lap, two, three, four. Four more than what March had, or than what February had, sorry. So that is unit two, week two, day one, daily packet. Okay, I'm gonna go to my calendar here and I can now check off the week two, day one. Next is a spelling packet. So this week's spelling packet, uh, this is the one right that starts off with that rainbow spelling. I'm gonna go to ABC order. So ABC order is this week's activity because we are on week two. If you didn't use the rainbow spelling, you're welcome to use it for the, uh, this spelling word list. Um, but you, the one you need to do is the ABC order. So my words, I'm gonna grab them from the um, piece I just did from Daily Packet. These are my spelling words up here. So I'm just going to write them in no order, no particular order here. Just writing them down to make my key, make a key. So I have tree, funny, need, 
leaf, clean, queen, read, peace, happy, key. So now I'm going to go through my alphabet and write them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to look for any A words first. A, 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 A. No A words. B. No B words. C. Okay, I see one, clean. And it looks like it's only one C word, the letter, or the word clean. I'm going to write clean. And I'm also going to cross it off here so I don't um, accidentally write it twice or forget any. Next is D. Don't see any Ds. E, no E's, F, ooh, I see an F here, but I'm going to keep looking in case there's more letter F's. F, nope, this one F, funny. Okay, so I'll write funny and cross off F, cross off funny. And I'm going to go to G, G's, no G's, H, ooh, I see one H, and it looks like it's only one H for happy, happy. Cross that off. Next is I, no I, J, no J's, K, there is one K, and it was my last word, so I tell that it's only, only one with K. Key, cross off K, cross off key. Keep going here with L, L, oh, there's one L. Need more L's, nope, so I'm gonna write leaf. M, no M's, and oh, I see an N, no other N, so I'm just going to write need, cross need off, O, 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 no, P, oh, there's one P for the word peace, Q, 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 oh, there's queen, Q, it looks like just one letter Q for queen, and now we only have two words left. We have tree and read. So instead of going through the whole rest of the alphabet, which really there isn't too much, oh, I can just kind of look and it's already my next letter, letter R. I'm gonna see if T or R is first and I can see that R is first and then T. So I'm gonna write read and then tree. So that's our alphabetical order. And you can ignore 11 through 15. There's a few extra pieces we don't need there. Okay, so that's our ABC order for Monday's activity. All right, uh, weekly vocab. So weekly vocab we have on the very end of our booklet. So this is my characters booklet. My characters booklet, our new unit two book. Uh, we've already defined these words here in live time but I'm going to um, rewrite them here because I'm doing this ahead of time and then uh, work on the sentence. So hopefully you can make up your own sentence, but if you need to, you can always go here and um, you know write the example we, we have on this video. So the first one is plenty, which is like a, a large number or amount. So you have a good amount of something. Rushed, it means doing something quick. You're doing it super quick. Like you rushed to work, you, you know, you walked over there really fast. Uh, tumbled is like, uh, like falling suddenly. And quickly, like tumbling down a hill. So plenty, I'll see. I have plenty of, hmm, what do I have plenty of? I'm looking at my pens. I have plenty of pens. I have lots of pens at home. Plenty is our spelling word. Rushed, Ooh, I'll use the one I came up with earlier. I rushed to work. I didn't want to be late. So I rushed to work. And tumbled, Falling suddenly and quickly, I can say I tumbled 
down the hill. So we have our last three. So we just did one, two, three, and you should already have um, pledged, palace, mistreated, and actually greeted also. This one I don't have filled out here, but it's it means saying hi to someone. Like I greeted my neighbor. And if for some reason you don't have any of the week ones, you can fill in at this time. So that way next week for week three, you'll only have the last three words to fill in. Okay, so those are our sentences and definitions for language arts. The next piece is in the same booklet, but now we're going to go to the story, Crow Learns a Lesson. And I'm going to do the activity, the home activity that it tells me here. So it says, for Monday, we're going to reread the story. So it's a short one. We're going to circle the word boastful and find out what it means based on all the other words and use it in a sentence. So maybe we can do that on the side or in this little blank space. So Crow learns a lesson. Once Crow sat in a tree wishing for friends. All day she called, I have shiny feathers. Come be my friend of the most Come be the friend of the most beautiful bird in the world. But no one wanted to be friends with a boastful crow. So I can kind of tell that word means maybe kind of like showing off. Maybe someone that's a little too, too proud of, not too proud, but they're kind of flaunting at least this, this bird, their feathers. <laughs> one day Peacock said to her, crow, a friend sees the beauty in others, you know. The next day, Crow said, so instead of talking about her own feathers, she said, Bear, your fur is so shiny. Rabbit, how fast you hop through the fields. From then on, Crow had many friends. Because instead of complimenting herself, she's complimenting and being kind to others. So, um, uh let's see so now we need a sentence with boastful maybe we can say the crow learned to not be boastful to not show off to maybe you know be kind and give compliments to others instead so that is our home activity. We read the section selection aloud and we circled the word and wrote a sentence. So that means we're all done with language arts and benchmark activities, which takes us to math, which we are now on lesson two for topic three. So we keep this away. And we are just doing the independent practice. So we are doing um double facts that help us so this is kind of like fact families so once we get the answer 12 minus 6 is 6 we're in, we're doing doubles we're going to do well this lesson right is thinking addition oops, to subtract double so we're going to think about well what two numbers do we add here to get our 12. we add 6 plus 6 to get 12. 14 minus 7 is seven. So a big hint is that whatever that number is you're subtracting, it's gonna be your subtraction answer because it's our doubles. So seven plus seven is 14. Eight minus four is four, so four plus four is eight. 18 minus nine is nine, so nine plus nine is 18. So again, just like our fact families, we're using the same three digits just kind of rearranging them. So here we can think about hmm, what doubles fact gives us the answer of 16. So there's a lot of um, different ways to come up with 16, right? We can think about 15 plus one, 10 plus six, but the tricky thing is finding out which one is the doubles that 
gives you the answer 16, which would be eight. So these little squares equal eight. The doubles, eight plus eight, gives you 16. Okay, so to the backside problem solving, Maria has six oranges. She gives three of these to Joe. How many does she have left? So if she has six, she gives three away. She's going to have three oranges left. The doubles fact that helps us solve that problem is three plus three equals six. David has 18 soccer balls. He loses nine, which is nine. What is the addition sentence? that helps you find this subtraction problem. It would be nine plus nine is 18. So finding the one that has the same three digits, just rearrange the, in a little different. The last one is where you get to be creative and write your own double spec. So think of uh, something. So maybe I'll use this bee's, his little feet, his little legs. Um, so he has three legs on one side, three legs on the other. Um, he has six all together. So maybe I can say, um, so we want, then write a subtraction story. So we're writing the addition sentence, but we need a subtraction sentence. So um, the B, hmm, maybe I'll say washed. Okay, let me start it over. The B has six, legs. He washed, taking a little shower, he washed three legs. How many more does he need to wash? So he would need to wash the last three, right? Three plus three is six. So our answer would be three here. All right, so that is our math. Topic three, lesson two. And please remember to do your quick check online for that lesson. We are on lesson, lesson three, which is La Ropa, en números 31 a 50 for Espanol. So please practice each day how you'd like. Remember that tomorrow, Tuesday, um, in your drawers at school, you will have um, the packet available in, in hard copy, so you'll have an actual packet. Um, but I did send them to your parents as a PDF. They will, you know, some of your parents already printed them. Um, or you can just keep looking in our Seesaw classroom, our Spanish classroom for our videos, our games, our read-alouds. Uh, make yourself some flashcards, practice on your whiteboard. Um, so yeah, practice any way that, you know, it helps your Spanish stick better with you. So practice your Espanol, and then we're all done with Monday's lesson. Stop sharing here. Well, happy Monday, and here's to a great week.